Hello there, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We have your money and career reading for February of 2024. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. Drop a comment down below. Thank you very much. Say hi. Where are you watching from? If you are returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Your likes, shares, subscribes, and all of your fantastic energy. Let's get right into February here, folks. We do have a lot going on. Um, most specifically, we do do have a lot of planets that are accumulating in the sign of Aquarius. We've got a stellium of planets in there and we have a lot of planets that are direct. So when a planet goes direct, this gives us a little bit more energetic, energetic boost to get going, to move forward, to gain some momentum, to start something new or to get off our butts. So if there's anything that you've been feeling stuck on, anything you've been feeling you've been going around in circles with, this can be the month for you to really get the ball rolling in a very positive way and in Aquarian energy you're looking at the future you're even um, embracing some innovative energy to try new things to look at things from a different perspective the big picture thinking that Aquarian energy is known for um also to you know really maybe make something happen via technology right um Aquarian energy is very science and technology based so you could be starting a home-based business, maybe doing a little bit more work on the internet, that kind of thing, or this can be your main form of communication, something um, something with your computer, your emails, your text messages, maybe how you get things done and uh, might be quite reliable there for you guys. Uh, some of you might be pursuing a career in the science and technology fields in some way. This can be a great month for you to do it. But we also, of course, do have Pluto and Aquarius, so this can bring some big transformations in your life right now. And I feel change for the better, right? Change for the future. But we do need to let something go. We do need to be willing to roll with the changes, right? And, uh, you know, to kind of shift our perspective a little bit. But Pluto and Aquarius can bring you your power back. So this can be really awesome. We, of course, just had a full moon in your sign um, at, the, uh, at the end of January, the 25th. And so this could be really where you are feeling quite passionate about something you might be feeling extra creative at this time you might be feeling a little bit more inspiration but you may be feeling more like I'm ready to move forward I'm ready to expand and to grow and do something exciting and interesting um, and then when it comes to your money Maybe you're looking to make a purchase that you've been saving up for. Um, when it comes to your job, right, you maybe um, are looking for something that kind of speaks a little bit more to who you are, your authentic self. But let's see what we've got for you. We've got the Go the Distance card here, okay? This is showing never give up. For some of you, you are very much um, very close to attaining your goals, something that you really want, something that you really desire. Go the Distance also says here to set your sights on the long term because, again, this can be a really good month for you to really... Set your sights on the future, right, to gain stability and security for the long term. As far as your money, this can be saving a little bit more money, right? This can be looking for a little bit more secure of a job. Don't, you know, gone are the days typically where you stay with the same company for like 30 years. So maybe you're looking for something with a little bit more longevity in there. Um, but the go the distance reminds you that sometimes life feels like a sprint. Sometimes it feels like a marathon. So recognize those times, those opportunities where you need to spring into action, just like our cheetah here, and recognize the times when you do need to embrace a more one day at a time, slow and steady wins the race kind of attitude, right? And there's different circumstances that come up with each one. So look at the big picture, look at things in a different perspective right and um, be a little bit more open but we do have the milk and honey card coming in I love this one for you milk and honey in the land of milk and honey we want for nothing this brings about an energy of success and prosperity and abundance where all of your needs are met plus a little bit more so we like this energy anything is possible now whenever we get rainbows rainbows are quite magical and rainbows do represent unlimited potential unlimited opportunity and uh yes a little bit of a little bit of magic in there for you guys all right we've got a new moon in aquarius on the 9th of february 
And that can be a really great um, opportunity there for you to set some intentions and to set those goals um, that you uh, that you think that you want, right? And to, you know, kind of really set your sights. Wish big, right? Wish big in this Aquarian energy because um, you just never know what might happen. All right. We do have a full moon in Virgo on the 24th of February here as well. And this can bring about some change. It is at a five degree um full moon and with that five degree that is a leo degree so this can be really important full moon for you this can be where you do finally walk away from something or you make a decision that something needs to come to an end and there's better things ahead for me so whether you're changing your spending habits whether you're changing your perspective on money or maybe you are looking for a little bit more growth and you come to the conclusion that in order to do that you got to get out of your comfort zone a little bit right so but this can bring about exciting opportunities for change and for some of you there is something coming to fruition at the full moon a culmination of the energies that was set in motion in August of 2023 we start out with the fortune teller card here for you, your overall energy. Now, the fortune teller is a little bit of mystery and magic. The fortune teller says, yes, where you have the power to attract things into your life. What do you want? Where do you want to go? What opportunities are you looking for? You have this magical power within to set those instant intentions and to manifest things into your life. The fortune teller does show a little bit of magic and mystery around you. And just like that milk and honey, your unlimited potential to get what you want and to find what it is that really does speak to you and that really does float your boat. But the fortune teller can represent that some of you might be uh, experiencing a little bit of a spiritual awakening here. And in that energy, what happens is we quite often have an epiphany moment. Uh, some of you could be stepping forward into a spiritual path, and this can um, help you gain some understanding about where you are with your money, how you make it, how you spend it. Um, this can help you to uh, get clarity on what blocks or obstacles are in your way. A lot of times they're internal, right? They're part of our energy or they're part of our um, history, right? And so you could be recognizing something there and it's because you're very much in tune with your higher self, with your energy and with the energy of the universe. But with this energy here, it can be that there's a little bit of a mystery. There's a little bit of a surprise coming in for you guys. Okay, so whether you surprise surprise yourself, okay, or whether it's, um, you know, something that you just need to be open, aware of, and like the go the distance in our cheetah ready to pounce upon, okay, a little bit different for each and every one of you. So we have the Knight of Wands coming in here with the fortune teller. We've got the Ace of Wands, and would you look at that, we've got your Nine of Cups, your wishes granted, my friends. So what, did, what do you want? The Ace of Wands brings about an energy of number one energy, right? So if you've been feeling like you've been a little bit down or you've been feeling like, oh, I just don't have the energy to do this right now, right? Uh, expect a big shift in February for you guys here, okay? So this can just bring you an energetic boost, especially the Ace of Wands coupled with the Knight of Wands. They're the energy that you need and the confidence that you need to move forward, to attain your goals, to finish up projects, to make change, to pursue something new and uh, celebrate your success because the Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups shows that you have a focus on your wishes and your goals and your dreams. So whether these are coming to fruition for you this month or whether this is where you're setting your intentions and you've got a super duper positive outlook for the future, whatever it is, you're embracing your personal power. And so this is really exciting energy for you guys. But I feel like here that you've got something to be excited about. Now, the Knight of Wands that comes out here, very similar to our Cheetah in Go to the Distance. The Knight of Wands is an energy of confidence, 
of knowing what I want and going for the gold, right? So I know that I can achieve what I want to achieve. I know I may hit obstacles along the way. I know that I might be need to be open to doing things a different way or having new experiences, but I know that I'll get to where I want to get to. So this is part of your energy that you're embracing this month. It's your time to shine here, Leo. All right, what is, what is your wish? What is your goal? Embrace it, pursue it, set the ball rolling, okay? The Ace of Wands, of course, can be very much tied to your manifestation potential here, um, especially with the Nine of Cups here. So setting your intentions and manifesting something in your life, embracing your inner magical powers, so to speak, which, um, you know, everyone's got, uh, everyone's on a different path, right? But some of you are very much experiencing this awakening and recognizing your true potential and your abilities um, that are are really coming to light for you. Remember, folks, the universe is infinitely abundant here, regardless of what we're taught and what we're trained to believe. Okay, and you have the power within to harness that abundance. Okay, say those affirmations in the mirror in the morning I am abundant, I am successful, I am powerful, I am strong. Speak those things into existence. All right, but the Nine of Cups does have us feeling good, feeling like, you know, yeah, I'm feeling positive about the future. I'm feeling positive about the month ahead. I know what I want and I'm not going to give up. So you're feeling good and you're feeling secure in that energy. But the Aces are typically gifts from the universe. And so I feel here in this Nine of Cups, you're like, I'm open, man. Okay, whatever the universe sends my way, I am ready. We have the High Priestess coming in here as the blessings headed your way. Secrets and mysteries or sometimes um, the order of the day with the high priestess. So this can be, again, it's a very spiritual energy um, that you have. You're trusting your intuition. You're trusting your instincts, all right? And you are embracing your true self. You have the wisdom and the power and the knowledge to make the right decisions for yourself. You're trusting yourself to make the right decisions for you. Now, the interesting thing here is that the fortune teller can bring a little bit of mystery and magic, but so can the high priestess priestess. The high priestess is a very mute energy. So I feel here that this is kind of coming in because there might be something hidden that comes to light for you, whether it's hidden information or hidden opportunities, right? Those doors opening, if you knock, the door opens kind of thing. Um, but I feel here it's very important for you to be in this kind of flow energy and be open and be receptive to things and, you know, be willing to look at things from that bigger perspective or that higher perspective. The high priestess is very much connected with the moon and the moon is that feminine energy bringing us creativity and bringing us in the flow. When we are when we are in the flow, we are not resisting anything, right? We are accepting, we are aware, and we're willing to go to roll with stuff, right? To roll with the punches, to roll with the energy, and things become a lot easier to deal with there. So I do feel there's a little bit of a mystery in the air for you, and also the moon cycles might be very, very important. And again, there may be something here that you have um, set in motion at your new moon that you had um, way back in the summer that may become playing out for you now, okay, or something that you have just, uh, you know, you're really thinking about and now you're setting your intentions. But with that, we've got the lover's card coming out with the high priestess. Beautiful. We've got the six of wands. Love it. And we have your inner magician here as well. So sometimes the cards, you know, it's funny, sometimes the cards can be a little bit uh, a little bit quiet, right? A little bit, um, not that they're quiet, right? They're screaming a lot of great things here for you. Um, but they don't necessarily show something 100% specific. And especially when I do get the fortune teller and the high priestess together. So what, and with the magician on top of that, right? This is really about you. Um, and about your ability to partner up with the right people, with the right investment opportunities, with the right um, habits and patterns and behaviors, I feel like you're feeling a big shift 
in this energy and you are feeling a lot stronger um, than you maybe previously were and you're really stepping back into a true sense of self, a true sense of power. You've got the, with the magician energy, yes, as above, so below, right? So you're harnessing all of the abundance of the universe and bringing it and manifesting it into the rea into reality, your inner magic here for you. The magician is also very creative, very powerful, um, and also very resourceful. So your ability to find opportunities, to find answers, to find the information, um, to lead you down the garden path of success, they're very enhanced right now. So don't second guess things. Don't doubt your abilities, right? You have the power to create the life that you want. You have, you are embracing your infinite potential. And we've, when we've got the lover's card here, right? The lover's card can be about you coming into power and con connection with your higher self, right? You're very much on track with what you want in your life. You're very much in partnership with spirit here at the moment, and you're making some very important choices, right? And you're trusting your instincts. You're trusting your ability to make the right choices. You're feeling confident in what you are doing, what you're pursuing, what you're overcoming, or what you are le leaving behind. The lover's card can certainly represent an energy of focus on partnerships, partnering up with the right things, the right people. Some of you may have um, a business partnership that you might um, be pursuing. Uh, it could be you're starting out a new business or maybe it's growing or if you've experienced a couple little hiccups along there because it's never easy working with other people, um, then I feel like here you are getting things back on track. All right. The lover's card can represent sometimes um, doing what we love, right? It is one of you know, it can be one of partnering up with yourself to create something and do something that you love, that you um, maybe have had on the back burner, or maybe you haven't felt confident, or maybe you haven't felt the time is right. And this can be where things are really kind of lining up for you in a really wonderful way. The lover's card can also represent that you may have a personal relationship that is in some way impacting your finances. But it feels like here, because this is all of your blessings, the energy benefiting you the most in the month ahead and I feel like if you do have a personal relationship if there has been um, something going on where something has come to an end and you know because Pluto and Aquarius that entered there on the 20th of um, August and then of course followed by a full moon in your sign some of you could have had a really big ending okay or you might have one in sight and this shows that your ability to pick up your socks and to be confident and to move forward, right? You're not lingering in that energy of that ending. So some of you may be forging a path on your own and you could have had a, a total breakup and a shakeup in a personal relationship, but this actually enhanced your personal power and strength, right? Giving you that clear conviction in what you want to do. But I also feel that some of you here may have a relationship where you're deepening a bond, deepening a connection here. And this is actually, it's like a very magical month for you where everything is just lining up and all of your ducks are falling into place. Everything is coming into alignment for you. So this can be great. You may get some recognition as well for a job well done or you're in an energy where you don't mind putting yourself in the spotlight so if you're looking for a new job or anything like that right you have the ability here to have all eyes on you in a very positive way and find that perfect position the perfect company the perfect connection there for you to bring you in uh, some money or to something that's in alignment with your goals we have the Ten of Wands here for you as well. And yes, this is in your challenge position, okay? So the Ten of Wands can be a challenge anyway, feeling like you've got some burdens, like you got some struggles, like you've been walking through quicksand, but it's one where you don't ever give up. So some of you, you may be in this energy every once in a while where you feel like giving up or you feel like you've got a lot of pressure on you. And, you know, this does represent a bit of a challenge. But trust here that in this energy, there's a shift happening for you, all right? Because 
because tens are endings, but they lead way to new beginnings. So we do have the Ten of Wands right here for you, heavy, tiring, burdensome, but also ultimately successful though, right? Because it's one of perseverance, one where you never give up. And But the Tens break down into a One. So yes, we've got the Ten of Wands, but we also have the Ace of Wands, right? So Tens leading into Ones. So endings leading into new beginnings. So, um, you know, so something is shifting here, something that's been causing some grief or some headaches for you. And instead of giving up, you are willing to make some change or you are willing to um, try something new and something different, okay? So it can be like a breath of fresh air coming in for you guys in the month ahead. So this can be really positive for you. This can also show that you may be um, doing something a little bit differently because you may be putting up some important boundaries and the Ten of Wands reminds us of that, the boundaries that we need to put up sometimes, right, to lighten our load, to lighten the pressure. So where are you taking on too much responsibility? What is out of alignment for you? This is an opportunity to get things back on track, right? And especially in a workplace here, because sometimes we, you know, we, you know, you might be that person, you're a good worker, you're a hard worker, you're innovative, you take a different approach where you need to, right? You get things done. And sometimes you might be in a situation where someone may actually take advantage of that, right? So, so you might find yourself in a situation where you do need to put up boundaries and say no once in a while. And then all of a sudden you feel a little bit lighter and brighter. We have the King of Cups here and we've got the Hanged Man as well. So yes, for some of you, there is a personal relationship. King of Cups here, Ten of Wands. That is, you are letting go. Hangman, right? So hangman, surrender, sacrifice, let things go, okay? And yes, perhaps a uh, partnership of some kind. The King of Cups can also represent in this energy, um, you know, a job that you are letting go of. Sometimes, you know, in our situations, we like our job or we like who we're working with, um, you know, and we might get a little bit of satisfaction, but maybe the money's not there, right? Or this can also be where, you know, you are challenged, right, to find something that you do love, right, and to find that company that, you know, you can really get on board with or you can find that, um, you know, the working environment that is really positive for you. So sometimes that kind of can be a little bit challenging here for you as well. But with the King of Cups and the Hanged Man, I do feel here that, you know, there is uh, a, just a little bit of a challenge. It's not total. It's not it's not reversed. Right. So it's not it's not that bad. It's just something that you may need to uh, deal with, something that you might need to focus on and something that you might need to work through as you go as you go along. So, yes, you know, maybe there is uh, something there with a personal relationship. But I also do feel here this is about, you know, um, really uh, feeling good, right? Really embracing some positive vibes because sometimes, especially the 10 of wands energy, we do feel a little bit down. We feel squashed, um, a little bit, whereas the Kings are kind and loving and successful. Well, not all the Kings are like kind and loving, but in the King of Cups anyway, it is right, it is kind and loving and compassionate and caring and very heartfelt energy and very happy and very joyous, right? So, you know, this can be a month where, you know, you are turning things around, but first you've got to deal with some challenges before you can start to feel a little bit better in this energy. And how do we do that? We let things go. Sometimes in the hangman energy, it's hard to get in the flow sometimes. We do need to do that, turn things upside down a little bit and just be in that receptive energy. The hanged man, you know, when we are open because the hanged man, you know, not everyone likes the hanged man, right? Because on the outward side, right, uh, um, externally, it looks like there's nothing happening. Right. It's like I'm just going to hang out. There's some pauses, some delays. So your patience may be tested a little bit or it has been tested already. Um, and so it's kind of eh, we get a little bit antsy in this energy. Right. Um, but internally, there's a lot going on and things. Remember, things have to come into alignment for us. Right. The right opportunity at the right time for the right purpose. Right. All of these things, they do need to come into alignment. And then this is where things get moving and shaken for you. So 
So patience is very much a, bur a virtue, okay? And so this might be something that you just struggle with here as well. But I do feel like here that there is something, just make sure that you really are um, trusting your instincts, your intuition, that if you're seeing signs around you, there's a reason for that, okay? And because the hanged man can bring you an epiphany, can bring you this clarity that maybe you've been looking for and a deepening of your understanding, all right? So just be, uh, be aware of that because we do have some very big heightened awareness that's coming in here. So pay attention to your dreams um, and all of that good stuff, okay? And when you do see things, just take a little bit of a moment, um, look at things from the big picture, right? Um, and, uh, you know, if you do see like repeating numbers, for example, what is my energy? What was I thinking, feeling, doing at that time? Those are all clues as to what that means for you in that moment, all right? Um, but with here, with here in this energy, the hanged man can be about looking at the big picture and seeing things from a different perspective and seeing the potential and the possibilities with something. And when we get the aces, it's the seed of something, right? The seed, the spark of a new idea, the spark of a new job, the door opening for you, but you need to pursue it. Um, after that, right? So, you know, that's why we have the Knight of Wands there also. So sometimes it can be a little bit challenging to look at the possibilities with things that we do discover along our journey. Um, because if things start out really small, but we're looking for something really big, right? We need to see, okay, where could this possibly lead? So we need to look at the possibilities. So it's just something that you might be looking through, uh, working through here. Your advice from spirit, we've got the six of pentacles. Balance and harmony are really going to be really important for you. The six of pentacles is quite often where we do balance out our energies, okay? The six of pentacles is a circulatory card as well. The good, the energy, the intentions that we put out into the universe flows back to us and quite often flows back to us multiplied. So for some of you, spirits giving you a heads up that's saying, hey, there's something flowing back to you in the month of February, okay, or even a little bit beyond because we do have some bigger energy and we have a little bit of a mystery un unfolding here for you okay so remember some of you it's not going to be just a very start and stop in February this can take a couple of months to play out for you guys but spirit wants you to be open and ready to receive okay to be aware of things that may be coming towards you because spirit doesn't want you to miss out right and again you will never truly miss out if it's meant for you, but sometimes we gotta wait a while for it to come back again, right? And you know, with the hanged man here in your challenge position, some of you have waited a while already, okay? So just be aware of that. But the Six of Pentacles does show that, you know, we do need to focus on finding balance. So balancing our bank book, balancing our spending habits with the income that we bring in, right? It's very easy to get caught in a trap of spending that which we don't have, right? We've got a lot of credit card debt out there and we don't want to contribute to the problem, right? Um, if you are in a position or in a company where maybe you aren't being paid what you're worth, this can be an opportunity and doors opening up for you so that you can find um, a job that's an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. And that's um, sometimes harder to find than what we think that it is, right? So, but this can be really important, right? Because then you don't feel used, abused, and taken advantage of, okay? But some of you, you may have some very wonderful surprises in the month ahead because the Six of Pentacles can quite often be something positive that flows back to you in regards to your money. Um, and this can be a bonus, a raise. This can be a new job. Um, this can be some investments coming to fruition for you. Or if you're looking to buy something, Nine of Cups that you have your heart set on, right? Something new, Ace of Wands. This might be where you get a little bit of a surprise because sometimes the Six of Pentacles is a surprise. Maybe you get a little surprise and you find it on sale and it's like, oh, the stars have aligned. So you might have saved up $500 and it's on, on sale for $300. It's like you've won the jackpot, right? So that can be part of your advice. So again, just be a little bit aware that you may have some sort of surprise um, that uh, does come in here for you. So be open and receptive to it. We have the Queen of Cups and we also have the Four of Wands, okay? So yes, you do have the possibility here to find the perfect 
partnership, the perfect job, the perfect opportunity for you. You also have an ability here to restore the status quo. So if something is a little bit loopy here, because remember, we've got the King of Cups and now we've got the Queen of Cups as your advice. Keep an open heart, keep an open mind. And uh, this is where things may come into alignment for you. Be willing to compromise and heal a situation. Sometimes we, um, sometimes we don't necessarily have to leave something. Sometimes we can fix where we're at. Now, the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups both coming in here um, for you. Yes, there can be something that uh, where the status quo can be restored, or you could potentially um, have some money things, money dealings with a romantic partnership. King and Queen of Cups are very much soulmates. Okay. And, um, you know, so, uh, and with the Four of Wands can be like a higher level of commitment, halfway to marriage card, right? You know, that kind of thing. So there could be something that you need to work through with a partner here um, in regards to your money, your finances, finding the balance, six of pentacles, right? And, you know, balancing out our responsibilities in our household and our fiscal responsibilities with a partner is not always easy. We quite often do have different outlooks on money um, or on debt or on saving and spending and all that kind of stuff, right? So this could be something that you need to work through with somebody, right? Find that compromise, find that nice sweet spot there, and then get things um, get things back on track. And yes, for some of you, maybe you are forking out some money or you're entering a higher level of commitment with somebody and spirits are kind of ruining your surprise here a little bit perhaps. So you could have that going on and this can be really positive for you because the four of wands is exactly what you've wished for. Okay. It is known as the 1111 card, right? Focus on your wishes and your goals. And these may just come to fruition for you um, in this energy, right? So whatever that happens to be, this can also be higher level of commitment in a job, right? So, you know, um, be open queen of cups and receptive because you could have an opportunity here to level up something where you can have a stronger foundation, something where you do feel successful and abundant in the, um, Four of Wands does bring about that energy, right? A good, strong, solid foundation, um, a cause for celebration, okay? So you could have something to celebrate here, but at the very least, stay positive, make your wish, and see something come true for yourself, right? But be ready for action, though. All right. So I do feel we've got some great things going on for you. Certainly the energy is very supportive of forward momentum and things coming to fruition for you. Right. And remember, we all started out with the land of the milk and honey. Right. So this can be an abundance of opportunities and things just kind of falling into place for you. So remember, with the four of wands, spirits reminding you to be thankful and grateful and give thanks to the universe for all of the abundance and everything in your life, even for the challenges that you've overcome and you will get more things to be thankful and grateful for. I'll leave that there for you, Leo. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit that like button. It really does help the algorithm and get, get my channel seen. It's very difficult the last six months or so. Something changed about six months ago and man, oh man, has it been hard to get the momentum back. So any interaction from you is truly appreciated and it really does help things get out there. So I thank you in advance for that. And also throw a comment in the box down below. Say hello. Where are you watching from? Um, what are you wishing for and hoping for? So always great to start a conversation. So I hope you have a wonderful month and I will see you guys later. Bye.